White nationalism, fact versus fiction. That was the name of the event held on UTK's campus tonight. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. You may remember Rick Tyler from Polk County who ran for Congress in 2016 under the slogan, Make America White Again. Sidney Edwards was there at his event tonight speaking to protesters and Tyler himself. Campus police, Knoxville PD, the sheriff's office and state troopers have the place surrounded while folks in protest yield signs and chants against the KKK, Nazis and hate on campus. Nazis! Folks gathered outside the alumni building on campus against Rick Tyler and what they believe he stands for. I think they're trying to spread hate and they're trying to intimidate people. While folks protested those walking into the event, Rick Tyler got ready for his speech. I'm 61 years old, baby boomer. I'm a white male, conservative, Christian, constitutional, patriotic guy. Who believes America is in trouble. He says he's trying to get his message across to young people who he says have not been taught the truth about history, demographics, ethnicity, and culture. Young people need to realize that especially in this day and time we're living in with technology being as advanced as it is, it's far more easy for people to be programmed, brainwashed, propagandized, if you will. Tyler says a constitutional government is out the window and he says the term white national List is something the United States as a whole used to be back in the 60s. This is the latest boogeyman. This is the latest catchphrase. It's the latest buzzword that has been coined and is now being proliferated to try to scare young people in particular. Whether folks are scared or motivated, they do not believe Rick Tyler should be allowed on campus for an event on what they say is hate speech. Um, I'm here to uh, be in solidarity with um, the community that overwhelmingly does not tolerate this sort of intolerance. The University of Tennessee is about love and acceptance and diversity, and this is not what we stand for. However, Tyler says he's not a hateful person. You know, I say now, are, are you accusing me of, of disliking or hating somebody because of their ethnicity? No, that's not me, you know, not in a million years. If you're asking me if I'm somebody who's ethnocentric, sure, yeah, you know, I, I am that. Reporting in Knoxville, Sydney Edwards, News Channel 9. UT System Interim President Randy Boyd tweeted earlier today saying, quote, white nationalism and hate have no place at our university. Last week, Tyler said he is running for president in 2020 as a candidate for the American Freedom Party.